good. What the? My sweaters! You got good taste, lady. <gasps> ah! Not gonna lie, this is uh, super creepy. It's dramatic. When it comes to horror films, there aren't many more famous than Nightmare on Elm oh. Street and its unforgettable killer, Freddy Krueger. You gave uh, me a lot of nightmares, yeah. Robert. It's a oh. dirty job and somebody's gotta do it. Oh, yeah, boys. There you go. I know I'm at chills. <laughs> You've played Freddy, of course, throughout the franchise, so it's only fitting ABC's 80s comedy, The Goldbergs, and to pay tribute Wednesday night to the famous film series for its special Halloween episode, and you get to play yourself, or Freddy. Well, it's sort of uh, <laughs> it's sort of a battle of the 80s sweaters with Wendy and I. Because <laughs> Freddy's famous, you know, red and green striped, nauseating sweater, and of course she has the wardrobe with all those 80s shoulders. You know, yeah. Sort of Joan Crawford, okay. 80s. With her hair, yeah, her for wigs. sure. Yes. Did you ever have issue that that was that was the actual choice of wardrobe? I'm it was not the worst sure. Sweater of all time. I don't know what went into it. But <laughs> there's a theory that the colors red and green are kind of hypnotic and make you a little oh. ill at ease, and that's why West chose them. That yep. they kind of definitely yeah, on the color scale. Apparently, they're a disturbing combination. Sure, it probably had nothing lines. to do. Probably had nothing to do with the glove of knives you were walking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. nothing to do with Very, this. Yeah. Yes, it's really, real too. By you the way, with that. Or just for the show. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> don't get too close to me. Yeah, we saw what you did with that banana. Manny Petty. Yes, yeah. I know. I was having fun in craft How service. How many times you have you know. cut yourself with that? Like, I only on hurt set. myself once. I think it was on part five, and I was working with a stunt double mm -hmm. for the young actress, Lisa Wilcox, and she ran through the church from hell, and I had to dive towards her, and she was off her mark. So in order to save her, I got myself right through oh. the wrist. You know? oh. How long do the prosthetics take? Because like it is a it is an intense makeup job. It's a I process. Yeah. Yeah. Camera ready three and a half hours on a good day. Yeah. But I did Phantom of the Opera, and that took longer. That was five hours. He just flipped just the flip knives. Just, I know. Just a flip on a wrist. Flip those knives. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did a Stephen King movie too, The Mangler, and that was an old age makeup, mm -hmm. and uh -huh. that was longer too. So I pretend that Freddie's like you know labor intensive because I want everybody to yeah. sort of stroke me on the set, you know. Right. Yeah. But uh, those <laughs> other two projects were actually much more difficult. And a couple of years ago, I was over in London doing publicity, and I ran into one of the mm -hmm. actors that played the orc in Lord of the Rings. Oh. If they had to be on set at nine in the morning, they had a 2 a.m. call. Oh my gosh. Nope. Brutal. So I never complain anymore about yeah. wearing yeah. makeup. Jeez. You know, um, I just watched Star is Born. Everybody's talking about Lady Gosh. Gaga and Bradley Cooper in it. I did not realize this though, but you were in the very famous version, 1976, Barbara Streisand, Chris Christopherson. Mm -hmm. We found a clip. Oh. She only bought every album you ever made. You pay for the clothes you wear, and I'll get up there and sing a song for Sheila. Not tonight, Sheila. Now, just what the hell is that supposed to mean? Me, Mr. Gay, worthy friend. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. really hit you. He did. I broke my nose. Wait, he what? broke yeah. your nose? He broke my nose. And, uh, and and later on, I did a movie with Richard Gere. Richard got me, too. Kind of corrected it. Kind of knocked it back the other way. <laughs> Yeah, so hey, I mean, if yeah. you're gonna get I can hit, still you feel get... the bumps, yeah. By the way, Chris Christopherson, Richard Gere, that's a good yeah. 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 Do you get paid you, extra? Well, he felt terrible. I think he thought he was just beginning his acting career then. Oh. And I, he, 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 great musician, and I think he thought he was allowed to get kind of close to the stuntman, and he thought I was a stuntman. Oh my God. Then he felt oh. terrible the next day, so I had to go in his trailer and. And, and drink with Chris all day because he, he didn't want to come out of the trailer because he felt so bad. You had to it. comfort Aww. him. Yes, I yeah. had to comfort him. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, your nose yeah. is broke all up. Yeah. So Halloween opened huge. Uh, it, it was, it, it, 75, 80 million dollars or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what about a Nightmare on Elm Street's Reboot from the original. Would you? Are you getting calls yet about this? Well, there have been eight of them. Would I think you it would do be Freddy versus Viagra? <laughs> I don't know. Freddy means who wins? Geritol. I was going to say who, who wins? Who wins? <laughs> but uh, no, you know, I mean, I I think they want to reboot the franchise, but they're going to need a new actor. No, Jamie Lee's in this one. You, you can do it. They're going to need a new actor to play Freddy because they're going to have to do eight of them. You know, maybe it's and Freddy's son. I might have one left in me, but uh, yeah, no, you know, it's so funny. I actually. I actually uh, had a roommate uh, back when they did the original Halloween, the John Carpenter one, and mm -hmm. he, I wasn't working, he conned me into going to Pasadena one day with garbage bags full of dead leaves. 
And we were working on the set of the original Halloween movie. Oh, wow. The dead leaves That's cool. around. So it looked like autumn. So it looked like fall back in the Midwest. Wow. Yeah, had You've had many now. lives in this many career. Many. I love it. Well, the Goldberg special Halloween episode airs Wednesday night at 8 on ABC. You don't want to miss it.